Okay, learn some stuff. First off, I do have enough repair skill to fix this thing. It's just chance based. So let's go ahead and read that Dean's Electronics. Another thing I learned is that earlier I was poisoned and I took an antidote. Uh, antidotes give you negative 25 poison, then another 25 poison a minute later, and another 25 poison reduction a minute later. So I only had to take one poison thing. Uh, the same is true about some other stuff. Like a rat away. You chug that, it'll remove 25 radiation. So like when I first arrived at the glow, I took three of them to get rid of all my radiation. I only needed to take one. All right, so now that I've uh, used the Dean's Electronics book, we're gonna take a look at our character here. I don't wanna spend those 11 points on repair if I don't have to. Uh, our int is nine. Apparently that robot on like that artificial intelligence is the only character in the game that has a skill check requirement of 10 int. Fortunately, I have tons of mentats, which should also improve my repair skill. So let's go ahead and pop a mentats uh, and then take a look at our character stats. Uh, repair is now 28. So we're gonna save our game just in case we break our repair tool. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna get this thing. And the reason is because uh, we need like 39 repair skill, but uh, this is this tool is supposed to give us 20% extra repair, so we actually have like 48% repair right now. Unless when I read that thing online, it was saying you need to have 39 repair and use the repair tool. In which case. We do have to spend those points. Balls. We, we totally don't have enough repair skill. Uh, but by spending points on the repair skill, we have removed uh, the efficiency of using more repair skill books. So we don't want to do that just yet, which means we have to come back here. Uh, another thing I learned is I thought we were down here trying desperately to find... Uh, am I going to get zapped? No good. Trying to find the thing that the Dark Brotherhood wants, which is probably on floor five, right? We already have it. It was on the corpse of the Dark Brotherhood guy on the very first floor we explored. Uh, it, it's the hollow tape. So we totally don't even need to explore this place. But I'm glad we did. It's full of awesome shit. So now that I have 10 int, let's see if there's a different dialogue option with Mr. Robot here. Access denied, terminating input. Uh, apparently, as well, you are supposed to be able to win the game of chess if you have 10 int, but the game is bugged, and y you need to sc essentially score a critical success. But on any skill check that involves special, like it's an int skill check, the game's engine is incapable of rolling a crit. So, consequently, it is impossible to win at chess, and that 700 experience cannot be obtained Installation, particulars of specific areas, level 6, 4, and 5. Okay, so the dialogue option that I get with him, I probably get uh, after, after having turned on the power. So let's get the hell out of here. Uh, and go straight to the Dark Brotherhood and start buying some uh, buying some special points. 
I could also go to the hub and learn more electronic skill. Here we are on floor one. Uh, I think this armory over here, I only was supposed to have access to if I passed a strength check or like a stats check. And I passed it and I didn't realize. But that's cool. So we climb out of there. Save our game before we go anywhere. Let's do uh, leaving glow. All right, so now my objective, another thing I have to do is explore um, the deserts of the game. This is like all mountains. Deserts are the only place you can get the six different special encounters. And two of those special encounters have really good loot. A pistol and a, a gun. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to the hub first. We'll grab some Dean's Electronics. I don't know if you can get skill books at the Dark Brotherhood, but I know you can get them at the hub, so we're going to go there. Yeah, and when you do get a random encounter, the lightning bolt symbol means it's a normal random encounter, and the target symbol means it's a, a special. So this is just a normal random encounter. I get shot for four points. I'm going to attack them with my uh, repair kit. No, I'm going to use my gun. Shoot him in the eyes. And even with bonus critical, I didn't score a crit. On an eye shot. Get out of here, game. Hell yeah. We got meh. I don't even care. I mean, anything I can carry, I might as well take. Well, that answers that question. The answer is none. I can't carry anything. Well, he dropped a first aid kit, so like, let's just use it. My flare is still going strong. I'm a bright boy. Apparently that's something that the mod does. If you light a flare in your inventory, it didn't produce any light in the base game. This is some nice desert tile. We could get a special encounter here. Uh, I want to be in downtown. We're going to the library. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, which is a no go. Wait until morning. Add two hours. Here we go. What is happening? Why can't I? Oh, that is the edge of the map. Okay, I was totally lost. I can't help it. Everything looks the same. All right, chick. Tell me about your books. You can have an assault rifle. All of my 5mm ammo. Well, I mean, that 5mm ammo does get used in the minigun. So I might want to, like, stack it so that when I get the minigun, I can have some fun with it. 
but honestly I'd rather like I'd rather not plan for future maybes. Okay, plastic explosives. I assume I need these for like something at some point in the game. I don't want the knife or the spike. I'm not giving that to Katya anymore. If it ain't a ripper, she ain't, or a power glove, she ain't using it. So all of that is trash. Uh, I'm gonna slam those big books of science right now. Uh, no way am I selling my grenades or any of my drugs. I don't know what what the deal with dynamite is. Is it just like a worse grenade? It's probably just like a worse grenade. The doctor's bag for emergencies. Okay, good. How many, uh, you have 1500 bucks. How many Dean's electronics can I get for that shit? Two, maybe? Three. She's also going to want some money, and that's okay, because I'm going to trade for it back right away. 3685, another 100. 951, i got to take back 51. Offer, good deal. Alright. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, steel. I need some shit to sell. I don't care about rocket launchers. Or guns. Is that all I grabbed? It was a single rocket launcher? Cool, well it's worth 2500 bucks, so... I guess that's one more Dean's electronics book. And her money. Thank you. I think I can get more uh, more value out of some selling some more gun. money does she have? Pretty much exactly that. Good trade. Let's see if we can get any more money. Come on, fellas. Let's grab some rockets. She's got 1200 bucks. I need to grab more guns. Whenever my guys figure out how to path to me, that is. Dog meat's made it.
grab a hunting rifle. Which will probably be enough. Thousand and twenty. Okay, I see what happened. The zeros look exactly like eights. All right, so we managed to grab ourselves some cap. How many do we freaking have? Twelve k. Good. Uh, now let's do some research. Uh, So we managed to get our repair skill up to 51% and our science skill up to 45. Okay, so this right here, this little block, is uh, the death claw thing. So we're going to go this way a little bit, then go to the Brotherhood. We'll revisit the glow one day. Let's go ahead and save our game. This is uh, Brotherhood. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. This is great. Hang on while I open the door. You earned 2,000 experience for becoming an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Dark Brotherhood. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Go ahead. Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other Elders. Goodbye. What an incredibly friendly guy. Uh, ground floor and one. Cool, we made it. We made it, dog meat. Even let my let me bring my friends in here. Let's use the motion sensor. All right. So there's like some people over here. A lot of people over here. Everybody, the Dark Brotherhood, I always get a kick out of because even when they're like not in war or anything, they're just always in their power armor. Like 24 7 in power armor. If I rob you guys, do I get uh, kicked out of the Brotherhood for it? No. Okay, who we got here? Brotherhood guard. This is a guard room for guards. You should leave. I can't even see why I can't leave. There's too much text. Who's in my way? Oh, the door is closed.
What is this? Brotherhood guards. Vault door. If I interact with that, am I going to die? Sick. Let's just stay here. We need to explore. What is this? Small piece of machinery? I'll take it. Probably need it. May I help you? Ooh. Tell me about I yourself. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. Stuff? I could teach you how to fight, if you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. It is not my place to answer. See the High Elder if you wish. No. <laughs> Do you not hear? I will not say it again. <laughs> All right. Explain yourself, Initiate. You lie, Initiate. This is how we deal with thieves. Okay, I got kicked out of the Brotherhood for taking that small piece of machinery. We just will go right ahead and not take that. Uh, until we know... We'll just remember that it's there. Gentlemen. Keep your center of gravity. Oh, this is a bathroom? Okay. Gotta have those. This guy looks important. More guards. Okay, we got Michael. Bob who? <laughs> Oops. Sophia has been in need of some EMP grenades. Sure, hand them over. Scribes for Vey. She is normally in the library on the third floor. So there is a library in this place. The Council of Elders, more specifically the High Elder, Maxon. And they're found on the fourth floor. Senior Bal Paladin, Rhombus's right hand man. There are rumors of a large force moving around the mountains. You are entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders for ammunition bullets of your choice. Just see Michael in the next room for the supplies. I don't know. You may have proven yourself to be an initiate, but that doesn't know we start handing over weapons to somebody that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. No offense. Quite a reputation for yourself. The people I've checked with hold you in high regard. I don't think you need any help. You seem quite capable. <laughs> Damn, this guy's uh, well researched on me. With a little problem. Ooh. Sure, what's the problem? I sent one of our initiates out to the hub a short while back, and we haven't heard anything from them. If you can find out what happened, I'll be very grateful. I'll check it out. Fantastic. Didn't I find something, though? All right, so let's talk to Michael, as we were instructed to do. Why haven't you delivered the items? Sophia is expecting them.
She's normally in the library on the third floor. Okay, so I have to complete that quest before I'm allowed to receive my uh, my combat armor, which would be freaking sweet. What do we got here? Just, uh... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a character named Matt. But it was the floor Matt. This guy is Talus. Okay. Oh. Only scribes and paladins are allowed in that room. Okay. So whoever this is, the senior scribe, I'm not allowed to talk to him just yet. Let's head to the third floor. Okay. Hello? It's a monitor. Wow, this place is huge. Gentlemen. They're just guards. There's so many Brotherhood guards down here. Okay, who do we have here? A scribe, scribe. Vray and Sophia. I understand you have something for me? Yes, here you are. You literally just saw me. You should ask for you. Thanks for the help. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? Cool. I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. Nobody likes using the word stuff <laughs> in the ways. What can I help you with? That sounds like a manufacturing problem. We handle theory and design only. Have one of the knights help you out. What can I help you with? Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Go ahead. I like this voice actress a lot. Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> the Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Use the terminal to learn the basics of computer operations. Whoa, no way. Did I actually just gain, like, science? Huh. Far out. Um, okay, so... Apparently... I can just read holodisks? So I, I, I learned a bunch of, uh... Pip-Boy 2000 displays, downloading data, done, have a nice day.
Okay, that's freaking wild. I don't think I'm supposed to uh, slot those into my Pip-Boy, though. Like, one of these discs I'm supposed to hand off to someone else. Maybe this one I'm allowed to keep, but... Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so, apparently if I interact with this terminal... You've already uh, learned as much as you can. Can I interact with all the terminals? What can I help you with? Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Go ahead. Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the disc. Go ahead. You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Go ahead. Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. Okay, so that verifies what Zack said. Go ahead. That sounds okay. like a manufacturing... I think I've gotten everything I can out of her. Can I, like, learn more shit from these terminals? Jeez, you can be so rude in this game. Okay, that was awesome. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at that thing she gave us. Sophia gave you autopsy oh, reports. Oh, okay. I download the data, but I get to keep them. Is that true for all of them? Is that what's happening? It's just moving to the top of my inventory? I thought I had another one. Yeah, I, okay, so I absolutely can and should shove all information into my Pip-Boy because I get to keep the holodisc. This is just pro-Brotherhood propaganda, basically. Okay, and, and the reports? The autopsy reports? Yeah, I don't really want to read that. Okay, interesting stuff. Uh, we're going to explore the rest of this floor later. I want to go and complete my uh, ammo or like equipment acquisition from the dude. I want to make sure that script didn't break by accepting Sophia's quest at the wrong time. It's entirely possible that like he's just not going to give me that armor now. I have something to pick up. A good defense is the best offense. Or was it the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be 
sure to take care of it. I can't give you any more than one set. Is there another item you needed? Something out. Okay. You need some ammunition, right? Well, what kind do you need? God, why would I take 10 millimeter? 44. Oh, man, 14. Like, you can get 223 anywhere. Fuck yeah. I don't know if I'm like cheating. Wow. That's it. Okay, I actually did have permission to grab three clips of ammo. I thought the game was kind of bugging out. All right, check our inventory. Did that put me over capacity? No, I can just barely carry all this shit. My brotherhood armor. Fuck yes, dude. Look at all that DT. Mmph. Mmph. I am actually armored now. Yeah, boy. So exciting. All right, so I just gained a fuck ton of 14 ammo, which is really good, which means we can finally go to uh, Ian. Who does have a 44 on him, or 14 I mean. Give him that shit and then tell him to use it instead of his 10. There, now both Ian and uh, Katya are using 14 millimeter ammo, which is a huge upgrade for both of them. Uh, so there's just an incredible amount of shit I could I could do here, um, I'm, but I'm very interested in learning how to purchase augments from these people. I want that tenth point of agility. It's my next objective. Store is already open. Maybe she's on the second floor. We've got some sort of like scribe situation. This looks like it. That's an that is definitely like a chop shop table. That's what I like to see. The doctor. Hello. My name is Lori, head of the medical staff and administrator of all major surgeries and medical procedures. I am effectively the only doctor here. Thus, I prefer to keep things on a first name basis. You are Devon. It's a pleasure to meet you, brother Devon. What can I do for you? Uh do you do operations? It's very costly and time consuming. I can help you make you stronger, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process. Which would you like more information on? Agility. This isn't a tough operation, but it'll be very costly and time consuming. It'll take three weeks and cost 5,000. I'll do it. Try not to flinch. The drugs are friendly. The slumber comes quickly. Hydrate. You move your limbs so you can feel the increased speed and control. Please do not damage my masterpiece. Oh, I'm your masterpiece. <laughs> Frickin' sick. Agility 10. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're slamming some uh, surgeries here, boys your operations and you really can just increase like freaking everything hey that's interesting charisma I was told that charisma can only be increased by uh, the dude you randomly encounter in the mountains the Celt uh, I guess the mod changed it so that you can also purchase it here surface operation will not help you Uh, I could always use more, like, strength to carry more shit. Perception would increase my ability to shoot. It's only two grand for the strength upgrade. That's dirt cheap compared to the agility. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I just disappear, disappear from the world for several months as I let this doctor chop me to pieces. Oh, luck. Can you do luck? No, luck can only be... that. That's something I should look up as another priority. How to get that. Perception. I'll do it. I must be getting low on caps by this point. On script. 1800. So I need a, a place to, to vendor. I wonder, can I freaking steal from this person? Does she just have all my caps? She's definitely got some shit. Lots of drugs and stuff. Definitely gonna want my armor back on. So good, so good that Brotherhood armor. Huh. I'm, oh. I clicked the companion. Yeah, apparently I'm just allowed to take all of those drugs out of that thing. So we've finally gotten 10 out of 10 uh, action points. So I could do two regular shots per turn, non-aimed. Which would uh, totally carry us, like give us a combat strategy all the way to uh, level 9 where I can reduce the amount of AP it costs to fire my gun by one, which would let me get two aimed shots per turn. But I could also take the level nine perk for better criticals, which I think I might just take at level 12 instead. Unless I can find that special event BB gun. In which case I could take better criticals and just use that until I'm level 9 in place of my 223. I think that's a better strategy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I sussed it out in my mind. That is a locked door and I'm not going to risk eviction by unlocking it. What's going on in here, boys? That's just a knight. Instructor of the Brotherhood Initiates. Can I access these terminals? No? Okay, so the library here is different than the library in the hub. I don't think you can learn any skills here, except for that one hit of computers. Hello? You must be Brother Devon, the new initiate from the outside. My name is Jerry. I'm your new roommate. <laughs> I'm an initiate too. I've been studying so hard. Are you initiate knight or scribe? Definitely knight. I haven't decided. You want the top bunk? Just let me know. I don't mind. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Are you alright? Maybe you need to see a doctor or you just need some sleep. Better get back to studying. Bye. I'm gonna steal all your stuff, Jer. Jer Bear. We we can sleep on the same bed if you want. I'm mean, just throwing that out there. No? Okay. That sort of things frowned upon in the Brotherhood? Jeez. What's this? Bullets? Take it. Uh Oh, these auto-closing doors, man. These auto-closing doors. Oh yeah, I should before I go, I should find out how much how much caps I need to have when I come back. Okay. Tell me about the operations. Uh 
we've got strength, we've got perception. Endurance will be uh, 3 thou. Charisma will be 3,500, 3, so we need 6,500. And intelligence will be 6,000. Oof. So we need like 1,250. All I have to do is find a merchant here, and I have tons of stuff I can sell. Alright, I guess we put off going to floor 4, and, uh... Talking with the elders long enough. Hmm, so there's some sort of, like, instruction thing that looks like the elders whole bunch of like weird terminals and shit. We got some lockers we can check to see if we're allowed to loot. Are you guys na named? Yeah, we got Mathia and General Maxon. Maybe it's like Mathia. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Gotta like me, huh? When we heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside, like you. <laughs> I'm not going to charge this guy money. That's not how you, uh... Like, that's that's so ridiculous. I mean, I, I bet you could. Like, I bet he'd be like, alright, here's a thousand caps, but it's so, like, immersion-breaking. You don't get, in, like, introduced as a low-level peon. Walk up to the top brass and be like, I'll do it for money. <laughs> like, you just do it. You're You're an initiate. There, am I the only one around here who cares about the rules? Good. Anything else you need to ask? Well, I'd suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Mathia, thank you. Change your weapon upgrades for you. What will it be? Okay, so I get to choose... Oh! I can get a ripper right now. I could get a second sniper rifle, but I don't really feel the need. It just, it is a, it's really high AP cost. I think uh, having one for Tycho is good. Don't need the rocket launcher. I should keep in mind what he offers here for future uh, playthroughs. Having a laser pistol. I think the Ripper is the best option. I didn't actually look and see which is better between the Power Fist or the Ripper. Glad you're on our side, Initiate. Okay, so if... Uh, I'll just keep that Ripper with me. On the off chance that... Girl Bro runs out of ammo. Let, let's... uh. Let's take the ammo out of that. Swing, thrust, reload. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, 
if uh, Catcher runs out of ammo, we now have a Ripper for her. That's pretty freaking sweet. So now I have a mission for the Brotherhood to go north. Whoa, Pip-Boy 2000. Why did I never notice this guy before? He's freaking adorable. Um, Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, become an initiate check. Rescue initiate from the hub. Ooh. There's nothing about exploring north. I like how I open the door and all my guys just run in there like, well, we'll clear it, boss. You're going to make me go through all these doors and check all these lockers and have nothing in any of them? But the game definitely does have loot in the occasional locker, so I have to check. <laughs> in fact, the loot that I've gotten from random chests have like been game-saving at points. Like, I wouldn't have been able to get my 223 pistol if I didn't find those three grenades in that crazy doctor in Junktown's place. That was kind of crucial. Okay, there's a terminal in here. Can I interact with it? No. This is a dumb terminal hooked up to a code to a large computer in the Brotherhood's technology. Computer monitor is made from Brotherhood tech. This looks like a really important terminal. But it's not. Okay, so there was nothing over here. This is just like a superfluous area. So joining the Brotherhood is a lot easier than I thought. If all you have to do is get to the first floor in the, the glow, grab the holotape and leave. In fact, all of the robots throughout the entire, the only hazard were the traps that I stepped on. So uh, like you could, you could get this Brotherhood armor at level one pretty much easy. You just need a rope. Oh. We are pretty sure he's gone off the deep end. Are you seriously telling me that the Fallout New Vegas plot involving the Dark Brotherhood was straight up just a copy of the plot from the first game? There's a guy who wants to usurp the current leader and like it's, it's just literally the same thing. Look, who is this guy who just sent me on a mission? It's literally just an elder. He doesn't even have a name. Did that just add anything to my pip? No, but we do have to rescue the initiate from the hub. I haven't fully explored the hub, so that works. Now, the only place here we haven't fully explored is the third floor. We came in here just for a sec. 
to learn something from her. We didn't check that. Oops. I wonder if I'll be able to even access this area. Okay, we got uh, a knight and a knight. Can I talk to you about the laser pistol? No? Save just in case this is stealing. Locked. Error? Wise of you guys to lock your stuff, honestly. Alright, let's see if I get in trouble for lockpicking it. You earn 50 XP. Am I allowed to take this? Am I evicted from the Brotherhood? Uh, nice table. Do any of you guys have anything important to say? You're all just scribes. Okay, then you're, you're dumb. But I will come here and uh, see if I can break into this stuff. I wonder if I try to use the lockpicking skill. Oh, dog meat, come on. If when I try to use the lockpicking skill, steal, like, if is it using my lockpick or do I have to actually manually put... Cut out of here. You know, I bet I do. I absolutely bet I do. I don't think I've used this item once this whole game. It's a 44. Loot all. That's just the shadiest thing ever. I'm just running around with lockpicks. Okay, there's this one room over here. I have to check. And then we can, uh, we can honestly just put the entire Brotherhood quest line on hold. Uh, we got the Brotherhood armor, which was the big thing, and we got the surgery, which was the other big thing. But man, the rewards for the Brotherhood questline are just strong. We're almost getting to the point where uh, I've run out of locations to explore, and I need to just like hit the wiki up for quests and just see where I'm supposed to go. What is this? A workbench. Get out of here before the door closes. Okay. So we can go and talk to the acquisitions officer again. Maybe uh, it's possible to select barter with him. He has some ammo and some stimmies. I mean, how much how much do you want for an eagle? How much do you want for the stims? 150 bucks. This guy's really nice. That's my ripper. I'm keeping that. Where's my money?
Okay, I think that's pretty much us being done here. So yeah, at this point in the game, I would very much like to uh, A, go to the hub, sell a whole bunch of shit, get some money. Water supplies exhausted, Vault 13 is dead, mission over. <laughs> you telling me right now that I'm I, I thought for sure I would be in a situation where uh, you know you have to persist in the doomed world you created I was like this is just my first run of the game it's just to acquire uh, <laughs> just to acquire as much information as I could um, I don't care if the vault dies, I'll just keep playing the game and do all the other quests. Uh, and I made absolutely no progress in the actual vault quest. Um, <laughs> like, oh no, the time limit is fucking real, bro. Like, if you don't save the vault, the game ends. <laughs> uh... I have to start over. <laughs> Shit. Well, I learned a lot of really important shit, not about the main quest, but just about how to get, like, powerful gear, how to join the Brotherhood. You know, uh, if I was to start over, I would go pretty much straight to the Glow. No, I'd go straight to the Boneyard, grab Katya, and while I'm there, grab the, that pile of uh, radiation, like Radex, go to uh, the Glow, grab the thing, go to the Brotherhood, get the power armor. Jeez, uh, it's over. Bro, it's over. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs>